Hello, and welcome back to another Minecraft build video. Last time, we built this little chapel in this Minecraft village, but I have a lot more building projects planned for this series. And in today's video, I'll be doing some landscaping and some building as well. And it has been fixed. But before we jump into our first project of the day, I have a quick disclaimer to make. You see, I just started using shader in Minecraft, but unfortunately that happened after I was done filming for this episode. However, in my future Minecraft videos, I will be using shader as much as possible to give you better graphics. And with that said, it's time to start building. As you can see, I'm just clearing out trees in this area here. To be specific, right now I'm in the dry riverbank area. I've spent some time checking out the landscape here, And I wonder if an actual river is supposed to generate here, because if you just go around this curve here and go past this waterfall, after a while you will run into an actual river. I have cleared out all of the trees in the area where I would like the river to be, so I will be doing some terraforming and I will be right back. Alright, I'm just putting down some water blocks here. Let's make sure that there's full water coverage. I am also going to take out some dirt blocks to make the river look more natural. As you can see here, I have connected the river all the way to the lake, which is right outside of our Minecraft village. And if you ask me, I really like how this river is looking right now. In my future videos, I will definitely be expanding this village along the river bank. And I think that is a good segue into our building project today. My reason for saying that is because this portion of the river cuts right across our village. The upper portion of this village is up there over this ridge. And after extending the river all the way across this area, the lower portion of this village here has kind of been cut off. And since we are doing a village transformation series here, that means not only do I want to keep this area, I would also want to make sure that this area is connected with the rest of the village. The first thing I'm going to do here is to give this area some style. I'm basically just putting down some stone blocks. As always, I don't start building with a concrete plan in mind. Rather, the way I will approach this project is to start building first, and I will make modifications as I go. So a full day has passed in real life. In this case, my original concept is to build a stone gatehouse, and I was going to have the gatehouse overlooking the river, but I'm not sure if this build fits into the village theme that I'm going for. So I'm going to stop here for today, and I'll come back tomorrow with a fresh pair of eyes. And it has been another 24 hours in real life. Yes, another day has passed. I have decided that I really did not like the gatehouse idea that I put down here before. To me, it just doesn't really go with the small village look that I'm going for. And instead, I came up with a different idea for developing this area. I'm going to start by putting down a little wooden bridge here. And right over the bridge, I used cobblestone blocks to map out a square area, where I will be building a guard tower. The square foundation for the tower is 9 blocks by 9 blocks, with a 1 block indent on each corner. I'm also going to build up the walls here. For now, there's going to be a large empty space in the middle of this tower, but later in this video I will come back to do some interior decoration here. I am also using dark oak planks to build the roof of this tower. Of course, we don't want the roof of this tower to look too blocky, which is why I'm going around to add some stair blocks to cover up the hard edges. And now that we have figured out the general shape of this tower, it's time to put in some more details. I am paving the floor here using spruce slabs.
And here comes a very important step. Of course, you don't want your roof to be floating in midair. So I'm going to add some support structure by putting in some spruce logs so that the roof is actually connected to the tower itself. In the meantime, I've been trying to figure out how to decorate the inside of this tower. But I also realized that I should spend some time to make this window look nicer. I'm just going to switch out the stone brick blocks with other variations of this block that have the same texture. And it's time to take a break right now because I wanted to show you some cool features of this tower. When I built this tower, I not only wanted to look nice, but I also wanted to be functional. And if you're building a tower like this in your own survival world, a design like this could make it easier for you to take care of the hostile mobs in your area. So if you have creepers or pillagers that spawn near your base, this tower will give you a nice vantage point for taking care of those hostile mobs. And up here, there are some more decoration for us to complete. I am thinking of filling in this area with trapdoors. I want to create the impression that there is something like an actual room up here. However, if you actually come up with me here, it's really just a tiny space with a light source in it. I have been comparing different types of trapdoors to see how they look like. And I think I'm going with oak wood trapdoors here. Well, it has been another day in real life. And there has been some more modifications on this tower. That's right, I got rid of the cobblestone walls on this tower. And the walls are now stone bricks. I like it quite a lot. Here, I'm putting down some polished andesite blocks. The texture of these blocks work very well with stone brick blocks. I am also going to put in some stone brick stairs. And that is a good way to introduce some more variations. So at this point, this tower is pretty much complete. And I have spent some time off camera thinking about how I want this build to unfold. You see, I do like the idea of having a gatehouse in this village. I guess I just did not like the version that I showed you earlier in this video. But after some thought, I think I've came up with a better design, which I'm going to show you right here. I'm just going to lay down a stone foundation that is 9 blocks by 16 blocks. This shape is not usual in your typical Minecraft survival build, but it's not difficult either if you have a good method for building it. You can see here that I messed up the measurements when I first started building, but I quickly fixed up the foundation. And the next thing is to build up the walls. And as for the roof of this village gatehouse, I'm not going to add too much of a curve this time. Instead, I'm just going to have it go up one block like this. And this will give the roof a 45 degree angle. Next thing I'm going to do is to replicate the shape on the other side. And now it's time to fill in the rest of the roof structure. After some grinding and building, I am proud to present you this gatehouse in its current shape. As you can see, I've done some decorating on this wall here. I've also added some dark oak stairs on this roof. However, the inside of this build is not quite complete yet. But I'm running out of time for this episode. So I'm just going to cover it up with some spruce doors. I'm just going to do some simple landscaping in this area. As you can see, I'm not doing anything fancy here. My goal here is really just to put down a path. And to add some grass and flowers along the path. And the last thing I'm going to do here is to add some lanterns and some fence posts. So I've showed you all of the progress I've made in this Minecraft village for this week. If you have watched this far into the video, and you've seen how much thought goes into building these things, I would really appreciate if you can leave a comment down below to let me know what you like about what I have built so far or any improvements that you would like to see. And with that out of the way, it's time for us to load up a shader in Minecraft. And that looks so much better. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.